The vampires from Twilight greatly differ from the standard or stereotypical vampire that we come across in so many other franchises. I think that makes them stand out for the right reasons, but it's not to say that these vampires have not received their share of criticism from fans of the series themselves. Now, I like the backstory and I like the detail that goes into the Twilight Vampires and in today's video I'll be taking you through the history and backstory of the Twilight Vampires. Now, the origins of vampires from Twilight remains a mystery. Nobody knows who the first vampire was or how the species originated, but that doesn't mean there isn't plenty of information on their actual history as a race. In the Twilight universe, vampires greatly deviate from traditional myth, a fact often referenced in the series, usually for humour. For example, all vampires have refined and perfected physical features including their scent and their voice, allowing them to attract the perfect prey. Their skin is flawless and textured, with a marble-like substance much harder and stronger than granite. Due to the crystalline properties of their cells, when a vampire is exposed to sunlight, their body will sparkle like diamonds. Probably the only thing I don't like about the vampires from Twilight, that sparkly diamond stuff. Anyway, let's continue. For vampires who feed on human blood, their eyes reflect a deep red as opposed to those who drink animal blood whose eyes will reflect a medium gold colour, more human-like. Vampires also possess superhuman powers such as speed and strength. They also have incredibly keen senses and are able to hear from miles and see in total darkness. Vampires are indeed immortal unless destroyed. Unable to sleep, they spend all days and nights awake. After transformation, a few vampires show special abilities such as foresight or telepathy, usually a prominent personality or physical trait magnified from their human life. Most of them, however, do not have these abilities. Vampires are unharmed by garlic, holy items or wooden stakes, they have reflections and shadows and are able to walk freely in the sunlight without being physically damaged by it. Vampires subsist on blood as their only food source. Human blood is by far the most common source and most appealing and subsequently the most difficult to resist. As blood is the only component of a vampire's diet, failing to drink blood, whether human or animal, for an extended period of time will physically and mentally weaken a vampire. The longer a vampire abstains from blood, the more likely the vampire will lose their rationality and mental faculties until they give in to their thirst because their throats are described to be in burning pain which will worsen the longer they do not drink blood. Although it still gives them nutrition, animal blood is less appealing to vampires. Vampires who wish to blend in with human society are also seen to ingest human food and drinks, but since their bodies can no longer digest this, they must cough everything up later. On occasion, the appeal of human blood can be so enticing that a vegetarian vampire will lose control, especially if their self-control is weak. To a vegetarian vampire, carnivore's blood is more appetizing than herbivores, though still not quite as good as humans. On the moral grounds that all human life is precious, a very small proportion of vampires in the Twilight universe receive their sustenance from animal blood, jokingly calling themselves vegetarians. The only examples known of vegetarians in the universe are the Cullen family and the Denali coven. The blood of each human has an individual taste and smell. Sometimes a certain vampire finds a particular human whose blood that he or she finds nearly absolutely irresistible. The Volturi called such a human La Tua Cantate, your singer, as their blood sings to that particular vampire. To most vampires, such discovery is an experience to be savoured. After the change, vampires' physical appearance and muscle mass is enhanced and perfected eye colour changes and they no longer need to breathe, though they often still do so out of habit and feel uncomfortable without their sense of smell. The first warning of an impending threat or the smell of potential prey. The ability to cut off airflow from their lungs allows them to remain submerged underwater for as long as they wish and contributes greatly to their excellent swimming capabilities. Vampires are extraordinarily beautiful some more attractive than others, such as Heidi and Rosalie. 
Their beauty is described as angelic or even godlike. This is one of the several features meant to attract their prey, more specifically to attract, fascinate and if necessary, seduce unsuspecting humans. How physically appealing their prey finds them is determined by how desirable they were as humans themselves. If an already attractive human were to be transformed, their physical beauty would be beyond breathtaking. If they were of average interest, their attractiveness would be lower but still stunningly beautiful. If, however, they were not particularly pleasing to the eye, they would still become average, as shown with James, but this is a rare occurrence as vampires normally select exceptional humans to turn. Basically, they don't turn anybody below average. A vampire's skin is described as chalky, alabaster or marble because of its texture and feel as well as its appearance. Regardless of original ethnicity, a vampire's skin will be exceptionally pale. The hue varies slightly with the darker skinned humans having a barely discernible olive tone to their vampire skin but the light shade remains the same. They owe their unnatural pale complexion to their lack of blood flow. Once they reach the first anniversary of their transformation, they will no longer possess blood of their own, though they still become slightly flushed after feeding. When the venom spreads, it also leaches pigment in the skin, so after the transformation is complete, the vampire loses nearly all its skin colour as well as any moles, freckles, scars, tattoos or any part of the skin with pigment from their human life. Their strong resemblance to marble statues also rests on their skin's granite-like appearance and impenetrability, as well as the now useless needs to blink. The venom-based fluid that resides in the eyes now fulfills the function of eyelids and also lubricates the eye so that it can continue to move easily within its sockets. The vampire also is unable to produce tears after the transformation as tears are used to remove objects harmful to the human eye. A vampire may not move at all if need be and if they stay immobile for several thousand years they will start showing the appearance of fragility or petrification though their physical capabilities will remain unchanged. Aside from Arrow's clouded, milky eyes, Bella notes that his skin, as well as that of his brothers Marcus and Caius, looks like paper. However, though they feel closer to shale than granite, they are no more fragile than those remaining active. Their body's natural changes no longer occur. They cannot age or grow. Grow things such as fingernails, toenails and hair will no longer be able to grow. However, if an arm, leg, nose or other such appendage should be removed, albeit painfully, it can easily be reattached. Vampire venom is noted to be the only thing that scars a vampire. Since the venom is adhesive, coating the severed end with it will help it heal faster. They show no physical or mental illnesses and defects and their voice becomes more alluring, melodic and seductive. Their heart also no longer beats. The venom and venom based liquids replace all of the natural chemical processes and functions in the body. It wets and pools in the mouth instead of saliva. It coats the eyes, burning through contacts after only a few hours. A similar venom based liquid lubricates between the vampire cells, allowing their hard stone bodies to move. Requiring little or no change to produce sperm, males can still breed, while female vampires cannot. Their bodies no longer accommodate the changes related to pregnancy. In male vampires, the venom takes on a form so similar to seminal fluid that it can bond with a human ovum, making possible the creation of a human-vampire hybrid. The underlying biochemistry and physiology is currently unknown. A wise vampire will avoid exposure to direct sunlight in public so as not to be seen by humans during the day, unless the sky is overcast since their skin sparkles like diamonds when exposed to the sun, as if they were so many small prisms. Newborn vampires are known for having incredible strength as well as brilliant crimson eyes. Both traits are caused by their own blood that still lingers within their tissues, producing these shockingly bright red eyes that fade slowly over the course of a year and the incredible speed. The bite of a vampire can sever the limbs of their opponents as vampires are known for having extremely sharp and strong teeth. 
a vampire's teeth appear no different than regular human teeth. They do not possess fangs. However, a vampire's teeth are flawless, unbreakable and razor sharp at the edges. They are also incredibly strong, able to bite through almost any solid substance, including vampire skin. Their teeth are also venomous, affected by the vampire venom that flows in their mouths. According to Alice Cullen, a vampire's greatest weapon is their teeth, though they are more armed than necessary. Vampires carry 25 pairs of chromosomes, two chromosomes more than humans. Carlisle reveals this in Breaking Dawn while telling Jacob about their supernatural genetic relations. While vampires have 25 pairs of chromosomes, the Colette shapeshifters carry 24. Vampire hybrids are theorized to have 24 pairs themselves. A vampire's physical and mental ability far exceed those of a human beings. These traits vary between different vampires depending on what they were more capable of as humans. Certain vampires also develop one extra supernatural power manifested from their strongest trait as a human. One of the most amazing attributes is their speed. They are able to run in excess of 100 miles per hour, substantially faster than a human eye can see. When vampires run, they become all but invisible. The shapeshifters are noted to be one of the few things that can keep up with them. We see the speed of all the Cullens again during the baseball game. Emmett is described as a blur around the bases and Edward can move so quickly that he's able to intercept a ball that has been hit like a meteor. They can lay down and sit up within the same fraction of a second, almost without having to even think about going through the emotions. After being turned into a vampire, Bella describes her movements as being instantaneous. As a result of this, they are also able to survive accelerations of at least 100 Gs, whereas any normal human subjected to that would immediately die. Another enhanced trait is their unstoppable physical strength. A vampire is said to be thousands of times stronger than any human, able to lift objects several hundred times their own weight. They can also crush granite boulders, subdue any prey, throw cars, crush metal and uproot trees with their bare hands. Edward feared his strength when first meeting Bella and explained that there was barely a difference between caressing her head and knocking it off. A good example of their strength is seen when Bella decides to arm wrestle Emmett after becoming a vampire. She describes the power in his one arm to be about the same as a cement truck moving down a sharp decline at over 60 miles per hour. A vampire's strength also enables them to leap incredible distances. Edward was able to leap over a 50 yard wide river with relative ease during Bella's first hunt while Bella was able to leap over twice his distance while still only using a small amount of her force. Diet does not have a massive impact on strength since it always depends on the individual vampire. Although a diet of human blood makes a vampire stronger than animal blood, albeit only fractionally. Vegetarian vampires find that big game predators like bears or wildcats not only smell more appealing to them, but also make them stronger than the weaker blood of herd animals such as deer or cattle. Strength, of course, is not always physical. If a vampire possessed great mental strength and willpower as a human, he will find it easier to control his wild, animalistic instincts. Even so, if a vampire has not fed for a long time, he will be less likely to think clearly and more likely to give in to his thirst attacking the first living thing he detects and draining it of blood within seconds, all without a single thought. If however an unlucky human were to be near their vicinity, they will preferably attack him or her rather than an animal. Vampire senses are also greatly enhanced which enables them to see, hear, smell, feel and taste things imperceptible to humans. While running, a vampire can see and sense everything that is around them allowing them to keep tabs of their surroundings and avoid hitting anything unnecessarily. A vampire's vision is incomparable, everything is much sharper and more defined as a vampire, and their vision is unhindered by darkness. As a vampire, colours are much more vibrant. Humans are considered blind or mud-eyed in comparison. Bella described looking back at her human life 
as like looking through a thick, dark veil because of her new incredible vision. When a vampire hunts, he uses his sense of smell to find prey and hearing to track its movements. Vampires can smell objects several miles away in a good breeze. Smell is the most intense to vampires because one can smell the blood of its prey. By not breathing, they feel uncomfortable due to the lack of smell, though they can survive without it. As they grow older and more disciplined, vampires can hear the most muted sounds. When Bella completed her transformation into a vampire, she listened to the sound of rap music until it slowly faded away. She then realized that it was coming from a car, with its window rolled down on a freeway. They also have an instinctive reaction to danger, usually from ill-willed vampires. They can also hear the sound of a heartbeat, a pulse thudding in a vein, and words spoken too quietly or too fast for humans to detect. Physical pain is implied when their bodies are being ripped apart by something with similar supernatural strength. Vampires also have a similarly enhanced sense of taste, allowing them to taste flavors with much more depth and precision. Humans can be changed into vampires by another vampire's venomous bite. Transformation from human to vampire is described as being the sharpest memory they have of their human life. Once a human is bitten, the venom from the glands inside the vampire's mouth is injected into the bloodstream and will travel throughout the body to change every living cell. Depending upon how much venom is in the bloodstream and how close the venom enters to the heart, the transformation could last anywhere from 2 to 5 days. During this time, the human will endure indescribable pain. Once the venom is injected, the victim feels very close to being burned alive. The venom will then make its way throughout the body next through the heart and it will pump again and again in the heart until it starts meeting itself in the veins. Then it will burn all the veins until the heart stops beating. It moves slower than blood because it is thicker, which makes the transformation long lasting. Each beat of the heart can only push it so far. The changing and burning process is slow and as I said, very, very painful. The venom has to saturate every cell in the body before the process can be completed. There is no known medicine that is strong enough to numb the pain. The best one could do is to just immobilize the body. And there you have it everyone, that is every single detail, no stone unturned, on the vampires from Twilight. I really hope you enjoyed today's video, it is probably one of the longest videos I've ever made. Thanks again for watching, make sure to look out for the next upcoming video because it just might be a little bit better than this one. I'll see you soon.